Hello again and welcome to another OIT Quick Tip. I'm Zach Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'd like to talk to you today about something that probably all of us have dealt with at some point. There's a website that doesn't load properly or behave the way we expect it to. And one of the first things the help desk recommends and I recommend and I've done many a time is go into my browser's settings and clear the cache. And sometimes or most of the time for me, that website, once I clear the cache, I refresh my page, everything works great. But we don't always want to get rid of every bit of browser cache for every website we visit. So if you want to just get rid of the cache on a particular website that's giving you trouble, we're going to go over how to do that today. Now, before I get started, a shout out to one of our OIT staffers, Tommy Doan, for providing some of the details for today's quick tip. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so right now I am in my SMU and my browser that I'm using right now is Microsoft Edge on a Mac. Of course, this will be very similar if you are using Google Chrome, either on a Mac or a PC. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And I will show you a quick screenshot here in a bit on how to do this in Firefox as well. So right now, let's just say that I'm in my SMU and it's not behaving exactly the way I want it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear the site data and cache cookies, things like that for just this web page and not everything in my browser. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and press the F12 key. Now, some of you Mac users may need to press the function key along with F12. And in Microsoft Edge, if it's the first time you're doing this, it may uh, bring up this little pop-up here in the top right about, are you sure you want to open developer tools? I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, please open that. And you'll want to look for the application section in this particular uh, developer tool sidebar that comes up. You'll see a bunch of other stuff here, which is kind of overwhelming, but don't worry about it. Just look around for the application icon. And if you're not seeing it, click on this plus icon and it should be there as well. And if I click on application, you'll want to look for this storage category here in the application um, screen. And again, don't have to worry about much of anything else on this screen. But what you want to do now is it will show you some of the storage usage that is uh, on your machine for cookies, cache, things like that. And you can also have this button here to clear your site data and whether or not you want to include uh, or remove any third party cookies that might be involved. So I'm going to go ahead and click clear site data. And that's it. You're all done. So that's how to do it in Microsoft Edge. Let's hop over to Firefox because it's just a little bit different. All right, so here I am in Firefox on my Mac. Of course, this will be very similar on your PC. And I'm once again in my SMU and I'm ready to clear out the site data just for this page. So again, just like in Edge, I'm gonna go ahead and do F12 or on a Mac, you may do function F12 again. And you'll see that this shows up a little bit differently than it did in Edge. It shows up here in the bottom and what you'll want to do here is go to the storage tab here instead of application. Application has some other things, but not necessarily what we want to clear out. So in the storage tab, you'll see a list of the cookies that are stored for this particular page and also a few other items, like if there's any local storage or any cache that's saved. But for these, for cookies, I'm going to right click on this particular entry for cookies and I can either delete all of them or all of the cookies for this session. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of them at one time. And there we go. So that is in the storage tab in the developer tools in Firefox by pressing the F12 key on your machine. Now this is just uh, one way to be able to remove the site data for particular web pages instead of wiping everything out, which can sometimes be a bit of a pain if you have a lot of saved cookies or cache for other web pages, pages that aren't causing an issue. So uh, this is one way to do it for specific pages. So hopefully this is helpful for you and a bit of a time saver. And again, for the OIT Quick Tip, I'm Zach Peterson. Thanks for joining me.